Ah, uh, man, this is one of the best pen games in battle rap from the PGs. I, I don't really know where he did, got discovered from, but I know where I saw him. And against JC, some man is too. Lux versus Calico, Mook versus Iron Solomon. I know people that were there for the Some Man is Two PGs and the Some Man is Two event. They said him and versus JC was the battle of the night. And beat DNA, according to me, went toe to toe with some of the heads. Had possibly battle of the year last year with Iron Solomon. Welcome, Chilla Jones, even though I don't like him that much. <laughs> what up, Chilla? <laughs> Chilla was good. Well, shut the fuck, shut the fuck up, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what's what's good, man? You know, it's all it's all love, man. What's good, y'all? Not, Not much, much man. man. How you doing? Um, I'm good, man. You know, re- regular, man. You know, that's what I always say. I'm regular, man. You know, happy to be alive, bro. Damn, you don't sound like somebody who just came off of a um of a clear three zero. This past weekend, it, y- are y'all like surprised? Because he always sounds bored. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we? I mean, if it's, if I had a clear three zero over Lux, you know, I would sound different. But I, I beat somebody <laughs> oh, that I, I, I beat some I beat somebody that I was supposed to beat. You Damn. And so it, it's it's uh, and that's you know I. I mean, you can take it how you want to take it, but I think I think most people expected me to be beat born. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't a uh, it was it wasn't a test for Chilla. It was a test for born. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just did what I was supposed to do. I respect that. I respect that. Um, before we get into the battle, let's run down the history. Like, where did you and Born rivalry start? Because I I from what I remember. It was a back and forth online that it seemed like it was going to get tense. So I want to know where that whole thing started first. Right. Um, so really it started, the very beginning of it is this. Um, and, I, you know, I sh- listening to Jesse's intro, I'll shed a little light as to, like, where I came from and all that as well. And so uh, I used to run a league in Boston, 2010, 2011, called Shark Tank Battlegrounds. Um, you know, I was one of the first, like, non-URL, grind time, king of the dot league owners in America. You know what I'm saying? I had one of the very first leagues. And so, um, I was building up talent in New England. I had, uh, a dude by the name of Interstate Flames, who I was building up. Um, oh, you know, shout I'm out to Interstate push... Flames. He got a couple of trap battles. Right. I was trying to, uh, you know, push him to the next level. Um, I ended up doing a battle in Boston versus some dude who called me out on the radio. Uh, I really, and I, you know what I'm saying, I didn't write for him. I, I used, like, mixtape verses from two years before that and smoked them. But after that, like, the, you know, I, I kind of got the city hot when I did that because that dude had been kind of smoking everybody he was he was battling. And so when I took him out, it made a lot of noise, and so, uh, you know, I guess Interstate Flames felt the way that uh, that that happened, and he was like, "All right, well, you got to come see me now." And so, me and Interstate Flames battled, and you know, I beat him, and it was that footage that Norb saw, you know, around the time, uh, maybe like early 2011. Norbs, John John, Mickey Fax, X Factor. There was a lot of people who saw the footage and was like, yo, this like this dude is crazy. He he sounds you know, he's a breath of fresh air, he sounds different than everybody else, he don't rap the way everybody else rap. Like we gotta we gotta try to you know what I'm saying, put him on the PGs. So I literally turned down the PGs for almost a year. Norbs was trying to get me to do a PG and I was I was telling him no because I was trying to get him to really rock with the talent that I was that I was grooming. Um Eventually, I decided to do the PG. The first PG I had was uh, versus Strange, the Wordplay King. Um, that was like late 2011, early 2012. Um, I beat him, but the battle it wasn't a good battle. It was kind of boring on both sides. Even though I won, it wouldn't have been a good look if it dropped. 
And so uh, he was like, all right, well, uh, it was supposed to be Super Rider and Cashy, and Super Rider backed out, couldn't do it. I don't um, know if you won that battle. Dude took his shirt off and flexed on you and everything, but go ahead. <laughs> Yo, you're just super gay, bro. <laughs> Super. <laughs> yo, Jesse. <laughs> that, yo, Jesse. That was, was eight. That was seven. That was, that was Jesse. Battle. That was that was seven years ago, and that was the memory that you hold dear to this day. Yeah, something wrong with Jesse. Ah, uh, you got me on that one. Uh, that, was, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, all day. Uh, but yeah, and so um, it was supposed to be me and Super Rider. Oh, excuse me, I said Cassie and Super Rider. Supposed to be me and Super Rider. Uh, the next month, we were supposed to headline a PG card. Now, that PG card had uh, Danger Zone and I want to say Danger Zone and Animal. It had Big K and Half Past Seven. It had Born versus Dirt and a few other battles. 